Okay, Corey, you got to stay. Back in 59 and 60, uh, a group of mostly Quakers, it wasn't a Quaker organization per se, but it was mostly Quakers, gathered, they created something called the Vigil. And it was a 24-hour vigil at Fort Detrick to draw attention, the world's attention, to the fact that that fort was now doing this research into germ warfare, as they called it. The, the question became, for the people in the larger community, the, 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 the Frederick County community, was why the, can't we do this type of research? For those who thought the research needed to be done, why can't it be done somewhere else? Why do you want to add this type of research in a community? As far as I'm concerned, bio levels, bio level three and four labs, which deal basically with the incurable type research on incurable type diseases, by and large, should not be in a, metro, in a metropolitan area, a residential area. Time is distance. If something leaks out of one of these labs, time is distance. And if the rate of dispersion can make it harmless or can make it very dangerous. Now, a lot of these stuff aren't going to survive in the atmosphere, but that's not the point. Remember, accidents are things that don't happen. You say, well, that can't happen. Well, that's, that's not true. And, and accidents are things that happen that you think can't happen. Fortunately, and I've said, and I sleep with this still to this day, the winds blow from my house to Fort Detrick. Now, isn't, I, I think to myself, I'm lucky it's blowing in that direction most of the time, but it really seems like I shouldn't have to be involved in that kind of luck to be able to, to, be able to enjoy the, uh, the, my very nice lifestyle here in the Thank you for joining us today. And if she hasn't already, she wanted to give all of the aldermen. We do have one committee that is seen as a citizen committee that has some reason for the different agencies at Fort Detrick. And there's a whole lot of agencies that are now involved in this kind of work and the community. This committee is supposed to be a way in which those two can talk and help people like myself and many others uh, have a more secure feeling about what Fort Detrick is doing and specifically that our safety is on their minds as they work. I'm Beth Willis uh, and I'm chair of the Containment Laboratory Community Advisory Committee and this is David Kay who is uh, the vice chair. Our mission is to serve as an interface between the laboratories and the public. So you know, just to put it in context, Frederick is the national headquarters for biodefense research. And we started pre-anthrax letters with one small laboratory. And now we have the largest um, campus of um, high containment biodefense laboratories um, in the nation, if not the world. The concern is, what if something goes wrong? Our scope of work includes all of the large federal labs located at Fort Detrick, but it also, I mean, Frederick is, is a booming biotech community, and it's an important, very important industry to Frederick. Our, our scope includes any biosafety level three labs. Now, these are labs that would work with things potentially like anthrax or plague, things that um, are not considered bioweapons pathogens, but certainly could cause a public health problem if not properly handled. Uh, we think having employment and the stability of that employment is very good for our community. There certainly have also been uh, some concerns from some people about public health and safety risks. I think if you look around the country, you see some of these high containment labs in university settings and in other settings. And I think one of the advantages of having this work done at Fort Detrick is you have a much more secure environment. And um, because you have multiple layers of security in terms of access and control, and it is a public body that does have a public relationship with the community. So is it perfect? No. Is it something we work on? Yes. It is very important to know lots about how robust the procedures and the safety programs are. 
But what people are really interested in is how well it's working. We all assume they've got great equipment and terrific procedures. But the committee has therefore, and certainly because of the kinds of questions we've gotten from the community, taken a position that we would like to see fact-based evidence of safe operations because our committee does not feel it is appropriate for us to stand there and say, we've toured the labs, let me assure you it's safe. That's as condescending as anything we've heard from others. And we're not going to do that. I feel strongly that, uh, that when it comes to health and safety, particularly federal programs, are accountable to the communities in which they have arrived without being invited by the public. I'm not saying there's not tremendous economic benefit, et cetera, but we didn't get to vote on this. It feels like the decisions are out of, of our control. I, I, I've been writing letters and, uh, and uh, pushing for and I, with, our, with our local people and also my, state, my uh, United States Senators and Representatives. We need a single source place to report all the United States for all, all levels of bio lab. But if you have one standard on how labs are run, how people report from the whole nine yards down, I think people would feel safer and, and, and you'd, get, you'd get a lot more, I think you'd get a lot more research done because people would have, would have confidence that, and they wouldn't mind uh, spending the money and, uh, and uh, to apply to this research because they would, they would feel that it was being, being regulated and that they would have a say in it through their, through their elected officials. I, I think the people of Frederick could handle m more information about where the dangers lie. I don't know where the line should be drawn, but at this point, not having any information about where the dangers lie is only going to continue this suspicion and make Fort Detrick not a part of the community, but feel like a, an alien force within the community to many folks.